Uh, this is question number 12. And we are told line A, B drawn below is a side of a trapezium. Uh, so we have a line A, B, which is 8 centimeter. But A, using a ruler and a pair of compasses on a complete, complete trapezium A, B, C, D, in which A, B is parallel to D, C, angle A, B, A, D is equals to 67.5 degrees. A, D is equals to 5 centimeter. B, C is equals to 5.5 centimeter. And angle A, B, C is an acute angle. So by drawing that, you get three marks. Uh, B, measure the length of DC. So with the information that is given, first of all, you have to follow the instructions given. Uh, you see you are told to use a compass and uh, a, pair, a ruler and a pair of compasses. So you don't use a protractor to measure the angle. What is being tested is, can you be able to, uh, uh, to construct angle 65, 7.5 degrees, uh, how to measure the length of AD and BC and that angle ABC. So what we can make a sketch here, I will not be able to draw this on the, on the computer, but I will give you the guideline on how to go about it. So here we are told uh, angle BAD, so it means angle BAD is here 67.5. If you look at angle 67.5, if you multiply by 2 or you add another 1.5 you'll be able to get 0 this is 5 uh, this is a carry 1 you get it is 135 so if you add angle 45 uh, you get this angle is you get add up to 180 this is 0 8 1 uh, so what it means is that to be able to get uh, angle 67.5 you can extend this line here uh you 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 measure you make a right angle you use that point and you sub you bisect angle 45 so you get that then you are going to to bisect this one this now this angle is 135 uh this is 45 so that they add up to 180 then you bisect this one you have obtained the angle of 67.5 degrees and this is 67.5 uh, having constructed that angle you are told that ad is 40 is a uh, 5 centimeter so you are going to measure 5 centimeter you get ad uh, you can now you can now you can uh, you are told that uh, uh, we are told that uh, dc ad is parallel to dc so you can draw a parallel line here uh, and you can do that, you can drop a perpendicular here, then you mark there, then you will be able to come up with a, uh, as a perpendicular line there. Then you can, you can use that line uh, with this point and you make an angle of 90 which will give you a line that is parallel to, uh, to, to AB. From there, uh, what you do is uh, we are told that uh, AD is uh, AD is five centimeter, uh, BC uh, BC is five centimeter. So you can uh, make a point there, extend your compass, and you mark where you get five centimeter. And if you join this uh, these two points, then it means you have obtained the point C there. So this is where we have C. Uh, so that's how you come up with the uh, trapezium. A, B, C, D, uh, and of course here we might use this point because we are told that angle A, B, C is acute, it is less than 90, because if you draw it the other side, you still be able to get the point, but now angle A, B, C will be uh, obtuse angle, so that is how you are supposed to construct that, then from there, you are supposed to measure this angle here, this line here, that is D, C, so that is a procedure that you follow. So let's see how it will appear. So when you draw it correctly, this you get something close to this. So you can see here I have drawn an angle of 45 and I have bisected angle 135 here so that I'm able to get the position of D by measuring 5 cm. Uh, then I have uh, measured this 5 cm and uh, uh, we have our AB. So when you do that, you should be able to get three marks. Three marks you'll be able to, to get by drawing the correct angle, 
doing the measurement, the right measurement, and uh, completing the diagram. Then when you do that correctly, the length of DC should be 3.2, and you can say plus or minus 0 0.1. So here you say it is equals to 3.2 plus or minus uh, 0 0.2. One a centimeter, and that way, that when you get that correctly, you get one mark totaling to four marks. So that is how you are supposed to go about that question.